You want to see case studies? Here they come. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. This video is part of a series of YAL tutorials. I was asked to talk about YAL case studies. I'll show you the ones I know. Some of them are shipped with YAL, others will be published here for the first time. The first in the series is Order Fulfillment, a classic that was made by Marcello, Stefan and Arthur more than 10 years ago. It is about ordering goods and shipping them to the destination. So let's dig right in. Okay, so we have the YAL editor open and the YAL control panel and the engine is stopped for the time being. If we want to see order fulfillment with custom forms, we first need to download the custom forms and for this we go to components here and we select order fulfillment custom forms and we update. And now they are downloaded. And the engine is started. Now we open the control center and we go to org data and we import the org data from this example. You can see this either on the YAL page or Now we have all the roles and the users imported. So now we have the YAL editor open with the order fulfillment specification. And as you can see, there are many subnets here, lots of things going on. And we will first upload it to the engine and launch a new case at the same time. And now we can look who has the first work item and it's assigned to five. So we open another window for Fredo Corleone and we can see create purchase order in our offered queue. We accept and start. And now we can see the custom form. There's also a version of this workflow specification without custom forms, but this one is with custom form. And you can see there are some special things. You can upload files and um, the design is somehow more flexible than the generated forms. And now you can start filling in the workflow and go stepwise through this specification. Another thing that may be interesting to see is that we can also use the resource coloring here for our workflow. And you can see that there are lots of different roles. And if you look at the various subnets, you can see all these colors appearing there and so you can easily see who is doing what in this specification and we can also show the constraints and there you can see for example a retained familiar there you can see separation of concerns another retained familiar and so on and so forth I guess you have seen that this is quite complex. In many situations where time is an issue, you may prefer simpler case studies. There will be more to come, so subscribe to get the news. See you soon.